In the shipyards of Shanghai, a new chapter in naval warfare is taking shape. China's newest amphibious assault ship, the Type 076 Sichuan, has reportedly begun testing one of the most advanced technologies ever fitted to an assault, vessel, and electromagnetic aircraft launch system. This isn't just another warship. It's a bold statement of China's growing ambition to redefine maritime power. The Sichuan, launched in December 2024 with the pennant number 51, represents the first of a new generation of multi-role amphibious assault ships, larger and more capable than its predecessor, the Type 075. This vessel bridges the gap between an aircraft carrier and an assault ship, with a displacement of around 50,000 tons and a length exceeding 250 meters. It boasts a full-length flight deck, two aircraft elevators and a large internal hangar, capable of housing both manned helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. Recent reports from Chinese social media suggest the Sichuan has entered electromagnetic catapult system testing, a feature once limited to cutting-edge aircraft carriers. Images from the site revealed open catapult covers and new radar installations, while a no-entry zone was declared by maritime authorities. All signs of upcoming sea trials. This system, similar to the one used on China's Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, will allow the launch of heavier, faster drones and fixed-wing aircraft, granting the ship unprecedented versatility. What makes the Sichuan particularly groundbreaking is its rumored role as the world's first dedicated drone carrier. Analysts believe it could deploy advanced UAVs like the stealthy GJ-11 combat drone and the WZ-7 reconnaissance platform, extending China's surveillance and strike range deep into contested waters. In any future conflict, especially around Taiwan, the Sichuan could serve as a floating command center for unmanned warfare, combining air, sea, and amphibious capabilities with its electromagnetic catapult and hybrid design. The Type 076 Sichuan isn't just a new ship. It's a glimpse into the future of naval aviation.